Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make very delicious fish tagine. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end and as always enjoy it. Today I want to thank Nakano Knives for sending me this beautiful knife set. Nakano knives have a long history of Japanese sword making and famous for their extremely sharp and durable kitchen knives. And today Nakano knives offering a special discount only for my viewers. The promo code name is all uppercase letters L E N N Y Lenny. Check the website and coupon code in the video description. And now let's make authentic Moroccan fish tagine in the tagine dish. For this tagine I'm using filet of cod. First let's make charmoula. It's a Moroccan marinade, great for fish, meat and goes great as a sauce as well. Take half a bunch of cilantro. And place it into the bowl. Half a bunch of parsley, chop it fine as well. And place together with cilantro. Take two garlic cloves and about one inch piece of ginger. Cut it and puree it with the side of the knife. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Transfer it into the little container. Take mortar and pestle, add one pinch of saffron threads. And mash it. It's a pretty strong spice so don't use too much because you can overpower the dish with it. Everything should be perfectly balanced. Add half a teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of paprika, mash it, add garlic, Add cilantro and parsley, mash it again, take a lemon, zest it, juice half of the lemon, and pour half a cup of olive oil. Season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper and mix it with a spoon. My charmoula is ready, put it aside for now. Take two and a half pounds of cut filet, but you can use eel, swordfish, halibut, flounder or sea bass. Cut it into about 5 ounces steaks. And place the fish into the bowl. 4 pieces first. Add some charmoula marinade on top. And gently rub the fish with marinade. 
Add the rest of the fish on top and marinate it. Don't use all of the shermola marinade because I will use it later on. Cover it with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about 1 hour. Or if you want, you can marinate it overnight. Now let's cut the vegetables. Take one onion, cut it into thick circles. The thickness of it should be about half an inch, approximately 1.25 cm. Put it into the sheet pan. Take three plump tomatoes, slice them. one green and one red bell peppers. Remove the seeds and ribs and slice them into circles too. Take one carrot and cut it into medium sticks, also known as butternut. Take one celery and cut it into sticks as well. Place all the vegetables into the sheet pan. Take three Idaho potatoes, peel them. and place them into the bowl with cold water. Take two garlic cloves and one inch piece of ginger and chop it. Take one lemon and slice it into circles. And now let's marinate the potatoes. Cut them into the circles, approximately 0.75 of an inch. Add garlic, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one pinch of saffron, rub it between your hands, Season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper.
Pour some olive oil and mix it well. And now let's arrange the dish. I'm using a large tagine dish that I got from Amazon. The link to the product is in the video description. If you don't have a tagine dish, you can definitely use Dutch oven as well. Pour some olive oil, lay down onion as a base, carrots, celery, Don't forget to season it with some salt and black pepper. Add some charmoula. Add sliced potatoes. tomatoes peppers fish on top Tap it with the rest of charmoula. Add half a cup of Kalamata olives. Lemon. And cover it with the lid. Place it on the stove and cook it on a low heat for one and a half hours. Do not put it into the oven because it will be different cooking time. During the cooking process you will have excess liquid. You can just scoop it with a ladle or a spoon. And please do not add no extra liquid. Let it cook in its own juices. And my fish tagine is ready. It came out absolutely delicious. The aroma in the house is outstanding. All the ingredients are fully cooked and create outstanding balance of the flavor. This recipe that I made is perfect for six people. And I hope you will enjoy this dish.